This is what the popular strip center on 705 First Street in Marble Falls used to look like. It's now been burnt down to the ground after a fire engulfed the property, demolishing 18 businesses. I was very nervous that my building would catch on fire. When I saw the flames, uh, basically were nearly engulfing my building. Jason Coleman owns the strip center right next door to where the blaze ignited. He just bought the building three days ago. And although he is now tasked with preparing his new investment, Coleman says he's thankful firefighters managed to protect his structure, considering the flames were just inches away. I feel extremely blessed to be in this community. The support that I've received and the, and the other business um, tenants have just been phenomenal. Just a really strong Christian community, and I just praise God that my building didn't go down. Marble Falls Fire Chief Tom Crane says, thankfully, everyone managed to get out safely. Right now, the state fire marshal's office is investigating what started the fire. We always feel awful for anybody that loses anything business-wise, personal-wise, or anything like that. I will say this community of Marble Falls uh, has stepped up with us, with the public safety, ever since this has happened, and they've just been bringing and supporting us. That's made it really nice and, and easy for us to be able to, to do our job. He grabbed a hose, and we were holding it back for about five or ten minutes before uh, first responders came. These two men were eyewitnesses in say after smelling smoke and seeing people evacuate. They jumped in to help fight the fire before officials could make it to the scene. They say many in the close-knit community are sad to see the strip center gone. That's a very historic building, especially for small towns like historical buildings, especially next to the square, are really detrimental to the, to the population when they go down. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.